What's up? This is the second day working on this snake boss. <clears throat> Man, there's been a lot of things I had to upgrade to get this guy working because he's he moves on the Z plane. And this is the first enemy to do that. What's up, Pedro? So I had to rework the entire collision detection engine so that it, it works on a Z. Or works with the Z axis as well. So if I throw it just underneath him, I'm gonna miss him. But if I hit him just right, while he's like if I hit just above him, oh, that was, was too close. Or it's just below him. So yeah, basically the, all the collision detection in the game is 3D now, and that man this took all day, all all last night and all today to get this all going. Alright, so today is day two, working on that, and I'll be um, getting his attack to look better. I want him to move around more, and if there's time, I will turn him into an actual snake where there's lots of pieces of him. So, talking about his name, how did that how did that uh, go, huh? With the the straw pole. Twenty-eight to twenty-five, William Snakespear. All right, Pedro wins it. What's up, stayed off? What's up, hard boiled? All right, so snake spear it is. <clears throat> What's up, schizophrenic cat? All right, nice. Okay, so snake spear. Let's rename this guy. Snakespear. His real name will be William Snakespear, but in the code, I'm just going to call him Snakespear. Snake Spear. A lot of things have changed. Hopefully that works. Another poll? I can't take another poll! You want Spear versus Sphere, both cool names. Stayed off, you're now in Canada. Whoa. Wow, man. Wasn't it your dream to go there? Same as Wizard Hour. That's right. Oh, got to repack. Sometimes it doesn't know to repack. All right, so now that we got an official name for this boss enemy, the snake that comes out of a hole. All right, all is well, he's still there. Okay, so the next 
next thing I want to do is actually to move around on the XY plane as well. So one of the optimizations I was making to the whole collision detection system this morning was making it so um, an enemy can actually have an opposite mask. So right now the way everything works is a like the player is a certain category and then they, the player can't walk on other categories. Like for example, a player can't walk on a static. Player is a friend, can't walk on a static. But the way that the the snake spear works is I want him to actually only be able to move on sky. So his mask is completely opposite. So I added a flag and everything. Actually, I, I went through optimizing the whole engine this morning because I didn't know there was a simpler way. But um, in the end, I came to find out that it's way easier just to change the snake spear's mask to be opposite in its movement. So this is now its mask. Its mask is anything but sky. So I think this will all work now if I just make it so he can move around. I'm going to move him around in a similar fashion to the Raws. Yeah, I think all three of these behavior tree I entries. Yeah, target any, which it already has a target. Ran for, dir target, sound hover. Sometimes it wanders, so it does dir rand. And sometimes it stops moving. So I think this will, wait, wait, this is a vector movement. Oh, this is a vector movement enemy. This needs to be vector target. Vector rand, vector none. And all these need to be only X, Y. The Rossi Pine and yeah, the Porcupine guy. It was definitely inspired by Bob Ross. What's up, Jonah? All right, man. Yeah, see you, hard-boiled. Later, dude. All right, so vector movement, setting vectors. Yeah, so random vector is just going to be V. It's going to be X and Y. Target vector, same thing. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I think this might actually work already. Let's see what a V3F does when it gets set to a vector 2. Oh, yep, yeah, does nothing to the Z. Oh, that's awesome. I don't even need to change that. Oh, easy. So yeah, V3F, if it's assigned to a VEC2, it only changes its X and Y, ignores the Z. So this is going to be fine. Rand, and this target is going to be Rand, is going to be fine. Opposite. Reflect. These are I'm not even using. Well, let's see if this works. So if, if this is working, then the we'll see this guy move around within the sky. Though that's the whole point. Is he should he should stay within the sky. And if it if he doesn't start staying within the sky, then got to work on the masking. Now he's just gone. All right, something's wrong. Hmm. Well, I think the first thing is to not get him to uh, 
put him back in the middle, start in the middle, and just not even move his Z. Debug the masking and all that. What's up, PMC? Pedro one. Snake Spear. Okay, so that'll start him in the middle, and we'll see what where he goes. It looks like he went straight up, but I can't really tell. So let's turn off um, turn off his X and Y movement or his Z movement. I'll turn that off. And that should that should disable all his all his Z movement. Oh now he's just gonna endlessly fire. Okay, let's make him seek first of all. Disable the firing. Why isn't he moving moving now? zero yeah he must be at zero yeah I gotta sit down today I'm tired <clears throat> Sitting, sitting. Responsive pixel art. Nice. That's pretty cool. Ah. Uh... <laughs> uh... 
Uh, nice. No, this ain't the first seated stream. What are you talking about? I've sat down for many streams. Many streams. So his move mask isn't working yet. He's not staying in the sky though. We gotta get him to stay in the sky. He's kinda got this weird movement pat pattern where he does. Here, let's make him totally like dogged like that. One more stop. Sometimes Rand. I guess maybe just turning off stop. if stuck. Oh, maybe that's the whole problem. Maybe he just doesn't have an if stuck. No, you would need to stay on. Oh, I think I just finally realized what it is. He's got, um, so everything that, everything that this guy is supposed to stay on, he's supposed to stay on the sky. There's this hole, he's supposed to stay anywhere here inside this hole. But everything else, the stuff that I'm stepping on right now is all collision none. Which, um, which is not what we want. This collision none. There's nothing for him to collide with. That makes sense. So I would need to use invalid pause. Yeah, I have to use invalid pause for this to work. So there's an invalid pause tile. It says K filter invalid pause. Basically it's something that the, the foes can't step on but the player can. Okay, this could work, this could work. So in area patterns, when we create the boss hole, here's where we set the, the hole. So if we, if we go right around the hole, on the rim of the hole, um, we'll set these invalid tiles. So he can't walk, he can't get out of it. He can't get out of the hole. And there we go. That should put about a, a ring of invalid pause tiles around the, the middle. He can't see him, but they're there. Oh. 
Oh, yay! And I can walk on those. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Awesome. Okay, he's, he's acting kind of weird, though. So... Let's get him to act better. Snakespear! Roz has this if stuck Duran. Let's add that in there. And so now he's got if target any, target if ran four, vector target. If ran two though, vector ran. Well, uh, let's see if this adding this stuck helps. Now it's just permanently stuck. What's your problem, dude? Oh, because he used dir. Yeah, this needs to be vector. Vector, Rand. So right now he's acting stupid. Right, if stuck, vector opposite. Or we could go select if select sequence if ran 0 0.5 vector opposite if otherwise just vector rand. So there, half the time, well not half the time, but pretty close to half the time, it'll do the opposite. Yeah. It's kind of weird how he just sits there and wiggles around. Oh, I guess I want him to know Flip X. Render flags no flip X. That's better. if he's really smart and he always moves towards the target. Or almost always. There we go. Now he can sometimes wander a little bit, but he's mostly going for the player. Okay, let's see what that all looks like now with him um, starting how he doing all his Z stuff. So he starts with vector zero zero one and area creation when he puts him deep to start with. Yeah. 
okay, yeah, I gotta get a Z to look right. Which means... So I'll keep doing the up down, but for now I'm gonna turn off the, all these sequences that make them move around on the X, Y. Hmm. Yeah. And then, when it places him, I'll put him to the right. What's up? So maybe putting him, I want to put him like four tiles. to the right or so. So uh, this is something like 60 to 80. Yeah, so now he should just keep going up and down, but I want him to be on the far to the right so he can check and see if his, get his Z, his global Z order working just right. Oh, there we go, yeah, okay, good. Uh, maybe just a little bit more to the left. Stuff. All right, Jonah, see you, man. So, like fifty five. So I just gotta get him to, to look right. He needs to cross over that barrier. He needs to turn, turn on his lower Z. Huh. I'm not sure exactly when. Jonah 9 Free parking. Okay, well, I'm not I'm not exactly sure how to do this, so I'm going to fiddle with some numbers first. It's in render system. Yeah, here it is, gate out of Z, where it changes the Z layers, a point where it flips it from being... on the ground, the Z order layer low to being Z layer, Z layer mid, which is everything else. Oh, and there's a whole block size that Y. Oh. I guess that should be dependent on let's make this uh cons float. And if the entity has it the no gravity flag, then we'll use zero as its transition point. So most entities stay 
up in the mid range a lot easier, like especially the player. Or I could just make all the ground increase in height and height decrease. Okay, let's see what happened here. Yeah, look at that. His Z is correct when he comes up right here. Oh wait, that was a little bit off. Oh, it was right when it went down though. What's wrong when he comes up? That's weird. So, but if I make this a little more, even one. Or maybe less, we'll see. One up, that one did it. Oh, and I understand why because one, everything gets added, everything one gets added to a lot of things up to one. Okay, next, if he's a little closer to the other tiles, like, let's say around 35, and then 45, on something that's like it can't be right all right so this is more like 35 max Perfect um, Z trend, Z threshold there. It's like positive one. I wonder if he works as well. Ah, let's not keep. Yeah, I guess it's important to check. Well, no, we'll do that later. Okay, so this is this is working, but it's not quite right. Or is it? I guess I could just leave it like this. Hmm. Because... I don't know, my instinct says I should change the whole Z like every every tile should have a higher a little bit higher z so that every entity could use one as its basis for its z threshold instead of checking for this move no gravity flag here 
but that might be kind of overkill. I'm gonna have to change the whole engine and stuff. Yeah, so I'll keep working. I'm gonna keep working on this boss. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that too much right now. I can perfect this later if I really want to, and it's working pretty well so far. Okay, all right, that's good. We got the Z working for this guy. So once again, I'll put him back to his normal starting point. I'm gonna comment these, these two positions out just in case I wanna use them again in a second. Snake Spear, turn back on his movement on the X and Y planes. The next thing would be to make him kind of move in a, a more like a snake-like fashion, more smooth movement. testing here. Why isn't these, aren't these working? I guess we'll keep it at the center on X and then go down a little bit more on the Y. Check it out when he's on the in the center. And it's also also when he's on the left. He was like really on top of stuff. thing I can put is uh, I can make him be a little smaller so he can fit within the tile. I think you can go down another 10 pixels here. or so. What's up, Salad Dongs? Evening. Evening. Welcome to the stream. It's kind of quiet here tonight, just making this snake boss. Maybe he needs to go up by another, another one. What's up, why not win? What's up, what's up? So maybe this threshold needs to be all like, hell, let's go all the way up this. Block side of that Y, plus one even.
That times two. God, I guess I really shouldn't be worried. Is worried about this right now. Maybe I should start working on the other parts of him. I just wanted him to move around within this this um the sky area. So far, his Z order is working. But it's like only when he starts getting wild, he starts moving around. not helping. This is not helping. Wait a minute. Is get Z order when it goes to low? Has nothing to do with why after that point. Oh yeah, so maybe he needs a, a Z order offset of his Y. Yeah, snake boss. Maybe he'll have some poison. Hmm. I'm thinking he might need a Z order offset as well. So when he's got no gravity, gravity, and his position is lower than the threshold, do negative one. Otherwise, zero. So it should put him below other stuff. One more time, make it so he once again can do all of his moves. Oh, wow, I never knew that. Oh my god, you know what could be happening? 
Oh, I just, I never, I just realized this. He might actually be flying over the top of everything. Okay, so if that's true, then we would need to put the invalid tiles with these giant Z walls. So, area creation, invalid tile. So pause.z would be something really low, like negative a thousand. And the size.z would be like 2000. So these things are just really, really tall. What's up, baby? I think that's what it needs. So then he can't get over. So I think what he was happening is that those invalid pause tiles are just around it. What's that? Mm -hmm. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. I'm sleepy though. Maybe? Yeah. Are you... Are you um... I'm streaming. Uh... Am I what? before is he was getting over the top of stuff. Man, this is so different having, this is actual 3D collisions going on. I don't really have any 3D debug data, all I have is 2D. This two-dimensional, you know, debug visualization. So that was a tricky thing to see. I didn't, I couldn't recognize that he was moving like that. But now he's staying in bounds. All right, well that's cool. Let's see what it's like to fight this guy now. Man, it's really hard to tell where he is. So if once he becomes an actual snake and he has a, more to his body, that'll really make it easier. Okay, there's there's something wrong with the Z now and it's on the other side. What did I do? Oh, see, it is using one. Oh, it's... I think this might fix one of the sides, but break the other side. Man, global Z order, man, three dimensional Z ordering. I've had so many problems with this. That looked better. That looked good. Okay, I can live with that. What if he comes up this way? Z. Oh, 
man. Yeah. Oh, and he's like, and he's like different. It's almost like he needs a different algorithm for which direction he's headed in or something. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about this too much more right now. This is really tough. Okay. I think I'm going to check in what I have so far. And give him a, a different weapon. What's up, Lake Bird? Yep. Growing it out a bit. Growing it out a bit. So I guess I'm just leaving that commented in or commented out for now because I can't figure this out with the Z ordering. So I'm going to have to just get back to this stuff later. This too. These are obviously kind of ugly comments, so I'll, I'll know to eventually just clean them up or something. So yeah, I'll check this in. Snakespear moving on X and Y, staying within sky area. Oh, no, I'm just sitting down. Yeah. I guess you can say I moved my setup. Yeah, my, I'm sitting down. This is like, I normally stream over here. Inside that, inside there, I put my computer up on top of a closet shelf and then put my keyboard there in that box. But now I'm just sitting down on a chair or in a, um, actually on a drum throne. Okay, so yeah, the next thing I want him to do is turn on his attack once again. So now he'll launch some poison bubbles. And then I got I want to give him his own attacks like he have his own his own projectile his own uh, projectile. Alright, so I'm going to copy the poison bubble. Trying to think of what this his will his little projectile will be. Maybe like a little snake. A tiny flying snake. But no, if it's if it's not a sphere or some kind of round thing, it's a lot harder to draw. And I want to do something relatively quickly. So I'm gonna copy poison bubble and just call it. What? What am I going to call this? Mm. I mean, I guess you could launch a
some kind of like plasma. This is a, I got a, I got a plasma bolt. Maybe like a plasma, a plasma sphere. Yeah, let's do a plasma sphere. It'll be bigger. Um, it'll move a little slower and it'll explode soon. So it has a good chance of hitting the player even kind of at a range. But because it's somewhat slow, you can get you can get away from it. Let's see, I can make this faster and stuff later. Okay, so plasma sphere. Start drawing it. Get the poison bubble open. All right, so for now, I'm just going to save this thing. Plasma sphere. All right, we'll render all these. All right, we should have all these new files. All right, so the snake spear is gonna launch a plasma sphere. Plasma sphere itself needs all its plasma sphere files. Yeah, dude. 200 points is a lot for free parking. We don't need the bubble noises. All right. Whoops. Plasma sphere has no, no frames. What are we talking about? I see it right there. Maybe it didn't pack again. This thing even on? What the hell?
Reload cam hammer spoon. <laughs> yes, yes, nice. Gotta be grateful with your reward, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm working on getting this this new boss. He's a snake-like enemy. He's gonna have a lot of different pieces, segments, you know. And there. Okay, now he's shooting his bubbles again. Okay, so now I want to turn these bubbles into plasma spheres. He's gonna be totally gonna be a new type of. So I'm gonna grab the color of the plasma bolt. Oh, I forgot, this thing doesn't even have a color. It's just white. Raz. Launches the plasma bolt, gives it a color. Uh, yeah, so we'll turn this into a pure white with some blurry. It's just hovering, all right? This is a really easy animation. Take off this poison layer. I think it should be a little bigger. Good, and I'll blur it. All right, render that, and we'll do the appear, the bubble came out of the ground, but this is going to be a little different. Lurk, 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 lurk. What's up, Kanan? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. How's your day going? Okay, that's what this looks like when it's complete. Let 
I'll do one more layer where it's just like barely there. Where's those? All right, so now it just like pops into existence. It's got boop, boop. Let's render that. Plasma sphere up here. Oh, they already had a lot of frames before, so we need to remove the existing frames first. All right, last one, the release. I'm not even gonna worry about that one just yet. What's up, Gug? Gagoga! Gagoga! faster what would it would look like uh, let's see um, speed so if you moved a lot faster on the Z let me let's try twice the speed. What? <laughs> They're the kind of questions you hold on to. <laughs> what's the reason? Why are you getting hood put on hold? What's the what's it keep saying? Oh, that's fast. do like one of these so if he does if he launches one and then delays longer like a half second he'll probably do it Questions for being off topic? Why are they off topic? Yeah, Lake Bird, that's the plan, man. The plan is to make this a big giant snake with lots of segments. So there'll be like, there'll be, you know, one of the segments is a head. There's a body full of a bunch of them. I'm just playing around with, this is the 
what? This is the most complex boss I've created so far because it's required changing the entire collision attack engine to be 3D. And movement is now 3D as well, so there's a lot, there's a hell of a lot to this. There's the global Z ordering, which had to be changed. So damn, this is turning out to be a lot of work just to get this guy even started. But I was trying him too fast. Trying him a lot faster because he keeps keeps coming back too slow. Try a little faster, like 80 instead of instead of 60. Hmm. What if he was way slower, like half, like 30? All right, I know. No, yeah, it only took me a day. So yeah, it took me since last night. I've been working on this this guy since yesterday, and the whole the whole engine was already three D in it in its um components and everything. So it already had a Z, right? It's just I wasn't using the Z at all. So I had to go. The only thing I had to do was give every entity a proper Z height. So that only took like an hour this morning, and then. You know, it was like another hour of getting him to getting collision detection working for me, and then, you know, probably only like three or four hours total to, to refactor the collision and the movement. The problem is still the Z, as you can see, he gets he's still behind this this stone right here when he's right here. So there's still some I guess some some fixing to do there. Yeah, that was just too slow. So 60 is about right. Oh. Okay, so I have I have no idea how I'm gonna do the snake train. What I I'm, or chain? I, you know how am I gonna put a a bunch of snakes or these guys together into an actual snake and have them stay together and everything like that. So let's try the obvious next step of um, just making multiple of these guys. That's like the ba baby steps, baby steps first. So let's put like six of these guys together. And Let's just start with six. Snake spear six. And when it goes and creates them all, it will add like ten or so to a Z. Ten times I or something. Whoa. what's going on there it's hard to see where they are oh you know what they might actually be on top of each other because they're all 30 so what if this was 30 and maybe making them two so they're
Cool. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that point. We'll get to that point. The, the important thing now is to turn them into actual snake because bef right now it really doesn't matter how fast or how slow he's going because he's not, he's not behaving like he will eventually. Once he turns into a snake, he'll, his behavior will be a bit different. It'll be a lot easier to hit at least a portion, a, a certain, a segment. If you've got a giant snake that's going by, you're gonna be able to hit part of it, you know? Uh, Keenan, yeah, there you go. It's called Valtry. I put it on GitHub. It's right there. C++. Yeah, maybe something like this. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think about the simplest way to do that because I'm using I'm using a behavior tree, you know, for the way Andy's move. I'm using, you know, basically just working it for for this engine, this system, and everything. Like, let me, let's see what he would look like if he never moved on the X and Y. That would make him look a lot less random and maybe he'll stay all in a, in a line. So if we turn off his seek and his wander and he's stuck. So I'll get mad money over here. Tons of diamonds. So that would be really hard to kill without this flaming top hat. But at least the core, 
At least the core mechanics of this enemy is all working. And if the, if the global zero ring were working, then it would it would almost be ready to go. All right. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's stream, you guys. Man, I'm super tired. I'm gonna go take a nap or something. But that was some good progress. This guy, um, this snake boss guy. Thanks, yeah. Thanks for saying good luck. Good night, man. And good night, everybody else. That's it for today's stream. And yeah, hopefully by tomorrow I have this guy fig fixed up and done. Just gotta get him. I gotta get all these Z-ordering issues fixed. I make this guy more fun. He's not fun yet. And make this this the body part of him move on the X and the Y. That's really all it's gotta do is he's gotta move on the X and Y. And then somehow just make it yeah, make him more fun really is the, the biggest part of it. Alright, so we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for everything, you everybody. Have a good night. See you sleep, buddies, yes.